Good day, Math Buddies! For this video, we will be learning all about mathematics. So just buckle up, relax, and all together, let's learn in an interesting and exciting way. For today's video, let us be guided with this objective. Solve quadratic equation by using a quadratic formula. In our previous video, we named four methods used in solving quadratic equation. These are by extracting square roots, by factoring, by completing the square, and by using a quadratic formula. But for today's lesson, we will solve quadratic equation by using a quadratic formula. The question is, what is a quadratic formula? Quadratic formula is derived from the standard form of a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 by completing the square. It is x is equal to negative b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It helps us obtain and derive solutions that are rational numbers, irrational numbers, or even imaginary numbers. Generally, all quadratic equations can be solved using a quadratic formula. The question is, what are the steps used in solving quadratic equation using a quadratic formula? First, write quadratic equation in standard form. Second, determine the values of A, B, and C. Third, Substitute these values in the quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And fourth, simplify the result. Let us have our first example. Solve x squared minus 5x equals 36 by using a quadratic formula. What would be its solution? x squared minus 5x equals 36 is a quadratic equation that is not written in standard form. First step states, write equation in standard form. With this, we need to get rid of 36 from the right side and transpose it to the left side of our equation. So using subtraction property of equality, we will subtract both sides by 36. And we have our new equation, x squared minus 5x minus 36 equals 0, wherein it is written in standard form. Determine the values of a, b, and c. From this equation, a is equal to 1, b is negative 5, and c is negative 36. So, substitute these values of A, B, and C in our quadratic formula, and that is x is equal to negative B plus and minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Here, um, x is equal to negative B is negative 5 plus and minus square root of, again, B is negative 5 squared minus 4, a is equal to 1, and c is negative 36, all over 2 times our a, which is equal to 1. Then, let us simplify the given expression. x is equal to 5 plus and minus square root of 25 plus 144 all over 2. x is equal to 5 plus and minus square root of 169 all over 2. x is equal to 5 plus and minus. So square root of 169 is equal to 13 all over 2. So we need to solve resulting linear equation by separating positive and negative 13. So we will have two possible solutions. One x is equal to 5 plus 13 all over 2, 
while the second one is x equals 5 minus 13 all over 2. Let us solve first solution from x equals 5 plus 13 all over 2. x is equal to 18 over 2. Simplifying it, that is x equals 9. On the other hand, the second solution from x equals 5 minus 13 all over 2. x is equal to negative 8 over 2. Second solution is x equals negative 4. Therefore, the solutions obtained are 9 and negative 4. Let us have our next example. Solve 2x squared minus x minus 15 equals 0 by using a quadratic formula. Again, what would be its solution? 2x squared minus x minus 15 equals 0 is already written in standard form. So in this case, we will skip step 1. Second is, determine the values of a, b, and c. From this given equation, a is equal to 2, b is negative 1, while c is negative 15. So utilize these values and substitute this in our quadratic formula. Here, b is negative 1, a is 2, and c is negative 15. So as we substitute these values in our quadratic formula, the simplified expressions would be x equals 1 plus and minus square root of 1 plus 120 all over 4. So negative times negative 1, the product is 1. Squaring negative 1, that is positive 1. While multiplying negative 4, times 2 times negative 15, the product is 120. And in the denominator, 4 is a result when we multiply 2 by 2. x is equal to 1 plus and minus square root of the sum of 1 and 120 is 121. Then we copied the denominator which is 4 x is equal to 1 plus and minus 121 is a perfect square and as we get its square root, the result is 11. Again, we copied the denominator 4. So, in this case, we will solve for the resulting linear equation as we separate positive and negative 11 in two equations, namely, x is equal to 1 plus 11 all over 4, while the other is x is equal to 1 minus 11 all over 4. So let us solve first the solution from 1 plus 11 all over 4. Here, x is equal to 12 over 4. The simplified equation is x equals 3. This means our first solution is positive 3. On the other hand, as we simplify x equals 1 minus 11 all over 4, here x is equal to negative 10 over 4. And 10 isn't divisible by 4. But of course, as a fraction, our answers must be in lowest term. So negative 10 all over 4 can be written as negative 5 halves. So our second solution is x equals negative 5 halves. Let us have our next example. Solve x squared minus x minus 10 equals 0 by using a quadratic formula. x squared minus x minus 10 equals 0 is already written in standard form. So let us proceed with step 2 as we determine the values of a, b, and c. From this equation, a is equal to 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 10. So substitute these values in our quadratic formula. x is equal to negative, b is negative 1, plus and minus square root of, again, b is negative 1, square it, 
minus 4 times a which is 1 and c that is negative 10 all over 2 times a which is equal to 1. Then simplify the given expression x is equal to 1 plus and minus square root of 1 plus 40 all over 2. Then combined 1 and 40 therefore it will lead us to x equals 1 plus and minus square root of 41 all over 2. In this case our radicand which is 41 is not a perfect square number and it doesn't have a factor where one is a perfect square and the other is a non-perfect square. So in short, we can obtain our solution as an irrational number. And we can conclude that this equation, x equals 1 plus and minus square root of 41 all over 2, would be the solutions of our quadratic equation. Let us have our next example. Solve 4x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals 0 by using a quadratic formula. 4x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals 0 is already written in standard form. So we need to determine now the values of a, b, and c. From this equation, a is equal to 4, b is negative 4, and c is negative 1. Again, substitute these values in our quadratic formula. Here, x is equal to negative, b is negative 4, plus and minus square root of, again, b is negative 4, square it, minus 4, a is positive 4, and c is negative 1, all over 2 times a, which is equal to positive 4. Then, simplify the given expression. x therefore is equal to 4 plus and minus square root of 16 is a result when we square negative 4. While the second 16 is a result when we multiply negative 4 times 4 times negative 1. All over 8. 8 is a product of 2 and 4. Let us simplify the given expression. x is equal to 4 plus and minus square root of 32 all over 8. Here, our radicand, the term inside our radical symbol is 32. 32 is not a perfect square. But take note of this. 32 can be simplified because it has factors where one is a perfect square and the other is a non-perfect square. If we are to expand square root of 32, it would equal to square root of 16 times square root of 2. 16 is a perfect square number. So we can simplify this as positive 4. Of course, square root of 2 is an irrational number, so we can copy square root of 2. In short, square root of 32 can be written as 4 square root of 2. Then, we need to simplify our given expression. x equals 4 plus and minus 4 square root of 2 all over 8 can be written as 4 over 8 plus and minus 4 square root of 2 all over 8. We can simplify 4 eighths as 1 half. Again, 4 eighths is equivalent to 1 half. Then we can write our final answer as x is equal to 1 plus and minus square root of 2 all over 2. So there you have it guys. I hope you learned something new today.